The overall goal of the following experiment is to investigate the effects of changes in the ratio and relative timing of excitatory and inhibitory synaptic inputs on the spiking activity of neurons using retinal ganglion cells as model neurons. This is achieved by patching the cell body of a ganglion cell in a whole mount retina using a glass pipette filled with an intracellular solution that resembles the physiological ionic composition and lucifer yellow to morphologically identify the cell type. As a second step, using dynamic clamp, a set of excitatory and inhibitory conductance waveforms are injected into the cell body, which produce a change in membrane potential as a response. Next, various conductance waveforms obtained from physiological experiments in control conditions or in the presence of drugs are injected into the cell body in order to obtain the corresponding neuronal responses. The results show the effects of changes in the ratio of excitation and inhibition on the spiking activity of retinal ganglion cells based on the injection of currents composed of excitatory and inhibitory conductances via dynamic clamp recordings. The main advantage of this technique over existing methods like current clamp or voltage clamp is that it provides an interactive tool by which the ratio and the relative timing of excitatory and inhibitory synaptic conductances can be injected into neurons to investigate their influence on cellular responses. This methodology can provide insights into the function of retinal circuits as well as of any other neuronal networks in the central nervous system.